Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back for part two of my Armor Hobbies half track build. And today we're actually going to be putting the treads together, so let's get it started. All right, so we did the unboxing, I showed you all the pieces, and I guess in the big scheme of things, I was looking through it, trying to figure out, you know, where to begin, where to start putting things together. And the first thing that came to mind was the actual treads for the half track. Um, I went ahead and put one together, but uh, this is the, actually what it will look like finished. Partially, there's still another step with this one, uh, but I wanted to show you exactly what goes on with it. Um, the instructions for this particular vehicle, they're not the greatest, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, the actual uh, track portion of the instructions is this section right here. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it is literally that, those two pictures and that little bit of uh, wording right there. And uh, yeah. It, it took a hot minute to, uh, to figure this out, uh, but just to let you know, they are, uh, all of these little individual pieces or individual treads, there are 41 of them per side. So this is actually what the 41 looks like right here. Uh, there is also a little piece here that actually gets uh, glued in to each one of these. So uh, yeah, there's there's a lot lot involved. We also have these uh, metal pins right here. So uh, it's, the quality of this thing being put together is actually really, really cool. But uh, yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip the camera around. I'm gonna show you a little bit of the process and then we'll probably go into a time lapse because putting 41 of these together, yeah. <laughs> so I tell you what, let me flip things around and I'll show you the beginning stages of putting these treads together. All right, so as far as tools goes, there's not um, really any tools needed. I do recommend a pair of needle nose pliers. Uh, the pins, once you actually get them started uh, or get it going, so what I did is I have four four stacks of ten of the individual treads. That sort of helps me to uh, keep count, and uh, I had one oddball. So to put these things together, it's it's actually really simple once you figure it out. So uh, basically, everything lines up pretty pretty normal there's nothing really uh too too crazy about it uh, first things first the uh, knurling on the pin that actually goes away from you while you're putting these together or that's the way i'm doing it uh, to sort of help me get everything lined up right uh, get the pin started then the next one and basically get that going there use a little bit of downward angle or downward force. And then right here, it's a little high right there. So I just take the pliers and just very lightly push down just to try to make the pin even on both sides. So yeah, there's, there's two of them. Grab you another one. Again, everything just sort of lines up actually really pretty easy once you get things going. Get the uh, knurling to the top, insert, and push it through like so. And the reason why I'm, I'm actually wanting to put these together first, number one, it's the, the most of all the pieces. Everything else is actually pretty, uh, pretty large pieces, but uh, I wanted to go ahead and get this together so I could get the priming process started and go from there. Um, also, one little thing that I personally noticed when I was putting this together is I just put together uh, 10 at a time. 
And what I mean by that is I just had a little, I had one section with 11 and another, all the other sections had 10 each. And that actually uh, helped out quite a bit. And then you just basically put the sections together uh, and then you come up with the, the long piece. So, but basically right there, there's the treads. Uh, this little piece here, once I get everything together, this is going to be probably the most tedious. This little piece here actually glues in right here. Uh, so you've got the, the bar right there. you got this little cutout. It sits just like that. So, uh, yeah. And you got to be careful with the glue because... You don't want to get any in the holes because that'll affect your tread. So, yeah, that'll be another interesting little tidbit. So, for now, I'll tell you what, let's uh, continue the build and get to the time lapse. Got them, uh, got two sections uh, put together right there. Here's another section. And again, these go together pretty much the same. I just find that this is a little easier to do it this way than trying to mess with one big long section. As far as putting everything together, that is. And slide this over this final pin as far as the links go and voila there we go 41 treads 82 treads right there so now the next part is going to be to glue in these pieces and I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to attempt this. Uh, we'll need some tweezers. I'll show you a couple of them as we go along. Um, this one right here on the end, I'll probably, I don't know, I may have to stick a pin in there just as a, a gauge. But uh, I will need some tweezers and some super glue, so uh, I'll get that stuff. Come back, I'll show you how uh, how we put these together. And then we'll probably do another time lapse. All right. Got the tweezers, got the super glue. And I did notice that some of these do have a little bit of uh, flashing on them. So here's a good example right here. So you will have to uh, cut this off. Cuts off pretty easy. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do it looks like I'm just gonna put just a little bit actually on this piece here, like so. And then I should be able to, well, those tweezers aren't gonna work. <laughs> what I'm thinking about doing is actually just sort of dropping it in like so. I may not even use the tweezers because honestly, I don't think I'm going to worry about them. And then, uh, voila. And then what I'll do is just make sure that everything still moves. So yeah, I don't think we'll, uh, I don't think we'll need to worry about the, uh, the tweezers because it's just a, a little drop, so all it is. Then we'll just slide it into place. And it actually sits really good. It flushes up really nice right there. So, uh, yeah. Let's do one more. I will be, uh, I will tell you this, I will be getting some rubber gloves. 
I'm already uh, I'm already knowing that. <laughs> but then I just uh, bend it up and slide it in place. But the finished track, so this gives you a finished piece right here. But uh, yeah, there we go. So uh, pretty cool. I got a lot more to put in. Let's get some gloves, get the time lapse going. All right, everybody, we're done. Um, got the tracks put together and uh, got, them, uh, got them painted right there. Uh, this is actually interesting to me because this is actually an ultra matte paint, but it is really glossy. So uh, still just a little tacky, but uh, there we go. Both of the uh, the sets of treads are done on the uh, the half track build. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is like I said when I did the unboxing. I'm gonna try to document the process of putting this thing together uh, as much as I can. Uh, this was one of the more uh, this this section here had the most pieces, so I definitely wanted to get it put together. Uh, get it painted and everything. So, uh, yeah, right there. So, uh, a little bit about the paint. Uh, it's got a gray primer underneath it. And then this matte black on top. Um, I do like the fact that it's got the gray underneath because what I may do is come back once all of this is dried completely. I may come back with some uh, Scotch-Brite or some light sandpaper, scuff them up. You know, make them look worn. Uh, because that's that's just a little too clean. So, but uh, that's it. That's it for part two. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, if you enjoy my content, do me a favor. Consider hitting that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, make sure and turn notifications on. That way you'll know when I drop videos, do live streams, or anything else related to my channel. And as always, whether you buy them or put them together, toys refreshes your soul, and I'll see you next time.